So, yes. there is some of Marek in you after all. Good. Forget Marek. This is for Duncan. So it is decided. Alistair will take his father's throne. Wait, what? No! When did this get decided? Nobody's decided that. Have they? He refuses the throne. Everyone here has heard him. I think it's clear then. He abdicates in favor of me. I hardly think you're the appropriate person to mediate this, Anora. Warden, will you help us? As the arbiter of this dispute, what is your decision? Who will lead Ferelden? Really? You will? This is where I wake up, usually. Or oh, everyone points and laughs because I have no clothes on. Honora, the Landsmeet has decided against you. You must now swear fealty to our king, and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. We cannot leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. We must have unity. If she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. Put her in the tower for now. If I fall against the Blight, then she can have her throne. If not, then we'll see. You would give me a chance for the throne after all this? I said if I fall, Honora, if I fall, the throne falls to you. I won't kill you while there's a chance that could happen. Somebody has to treat this Blight seriously. That is uncharacteristically wise of you. Yes, well, don't let it get around. They have a reputation. Very well then. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that will be me, right? Um, <clears throat> I never knew him, but from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. Everyone, get ready to march. It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. <laughs> 